If you're at the stage in your camper van build where you need a little bit of privacy, you need these Vanex curtains. These are going in today and I'm going to show you how to install them. Whoa, 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 that's too much. No, that's too much. I kinda like you. Boom, and we're inside the van. So here we go. This is the box. I'm going to do an unboxing for you. These sprinter curtains will fit a long wheelbase. They'll also do a long wheelbase crafter. I haven't seen anybody doing an unboxing video, so let's have a look what's inside the box when it comes. First thing that you're gonna find is your receipt. These were purchased off eBay. I can get a trade account, but to be honest, the saving, it's not that much. For a set of curtains, 104.99. So you're looking 52 pound, roughly. That'll do this side and the sliding door. I've gone for black and grey there's different options on there sometimes you can't get the blue for some reason i don't understand that but there you go you've also got two sets of these now what they do from vanex they wrap the curtains round the curtain rails so when you take these out be a bit careful because there is a very slight burr on the edge and it can catch the curtains but if you're careful they'll come out um nice quality very very straightforward that's that inside the bag You've also got your main curtain. Inside there, on the end of the curtain, you've got your fitting kit. In that, you've got end caps, tie backs, screws to secure the rail to the van. One thing I am really excited about, and they should have done this from the start, is this. Where is it? Where is it? Found it. I nearly had an heart attack then. I might edit that. But then again, I might not. This is a fitting kit for the rails. Now this is a jig. When they first gave the curtains out at the very beginning, they never used to put this in the box. There's another YouTuber, Greg Virgo. He does a video where he actually makes a jig because there's no jig. What you used to have to rely on is either making a jig from scratch to bend the rail, or you used to use your knee and just literally bend it round or a voice or something similar. That is an absolute godsend. And I just want to say thank you to Vanex for that because you needed to do this from the start really and you've finally done it, so wicked. It's a simple idea, but as I say, and they never used to do it. Really, really good thought now to put that in. So that's what's in the box. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna set this jig up on the bench. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get your profile for the for the actual, uh, the, the profile of the aperture. Um, and we're gonna fit the, fit the curtains. So let's go. Right then, so I've just offered the first rail up to the inside of the aperture. There's no real instructions with the pack on this, which they could do with putting that in, but you know, you're sort of left to your own devices really. I'm going to sort of look at where the bend begins, which is roughly there, and I'm going to put a little mark on there, permanent marker pen. I've lined it up roughly, um, sort of level. I'm going to come along to this side, and where this aperture goes round starts from about there, maybe. Um, you want to be marking the flat side of the rail. If you look at the rail, you've got this inner lip with a with a sort of indent on. That's where you're gonna be drilling your pilot holes um, to get your screws through. Um, and then we're gonna be using this flat piece at the back for actually uh, the aesthetic you know, side of things. You don't really wanna be looking at the screws and that on the outside. So that goes on the inside eventually. So mark this side, the flat side there. Um, we're gonna be looking at this side first. This is more or less a vertical um, incline on, on the bend. I'm not gonna to go too mad on it because it will only bend round to sort of you know a couple of inches really uh, and the same on this side it'll make sense when we get it into the jig what you want to do is you want to just start with this side first start teasing it just to make sure you don't go too uh, much of a bend on it and then we're going to work on this side this one's not going to need too much of a bend at all really um this is going to be the main one on this side we'll do this uh, we'll have a look at it on the bench and i'll see you over there i'm in the workshop i'm not inside the van don't love being in the workshop it's nice in there, but it gets too claustrophobic for me. Right, we're here, we're gonna do it. What you're gonna need is this. You're gonna need a drill. So you can use a pillar drill. Ideally, you need a hand drill. You're gonna need some step drills. So they're little bits that go in the drill. Uh, they can do a pilot hole. 3 sixteenths is what we're gonna need. You can get those from Screwfix, B&Q, Tool Station, 15 quid. Right, you'll use those time and time again if you're doing this type of work. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get it on the bench, I've got the jig, I've already set that up. 
we're going to put it in, we're going to have a look at how to bend the track, we're going to look at how to do the pilot holes in the track, and hopefully, if it all comes together, I'll see you back inside the van at the end to screw the track in and get the curtains working. And then we won't be able to see my mate again, naked. What a thought that'll be. Right, see you on the bench. Right then, so let's take a look at what we've got on the bench now. We've got the two end caps that are going to be clipping onto the end of the rail. These are quite simple to install. You literally just click them on over the top. Uh, you can see that that finishes off the rail nicely. So we know that there's going to be a securing hole there. Now, with these rails, they work out to roughly 185 centimetres to the next point of uh, securing. Now, I know it sounds weird, but I'll use my finger and my thumb because it's roughly the same size. As long as you go along there like that, you'll, you'll be able to gauge it. It doesn't have to be spot on, um, you can be out slightly, you don't really see those pins on the inside. Now, there are seven securing screws that go along. You can use these if you want to. I don't tend to like these, um, just purely for the look that I want. I want like a black on grey sort of theme. These, I know it sounds petty, but I like to use a black headed screw. Um, obviously you can either paint these or you can get rid of these and you can use the drywall screws which is what I'll use. Um, they're just as good, they bite into the metal nicely uh, and they do just as good a job. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do both rails, I'm going to go through with the step drill. Now this is the drill I'm using, this is a 3 uh, step drill up to the first point. That is adequate to get the screw through the actual rail. Uh, but it's not big enough to actually open up the head of the screw, so it'll sit nice and flush on that. I'm going to do that now, uh, do both rails, and then you'll join me when we do the jig and we bend the actual rail. What we're going to do now, I'm going to use this new jig. Now, I haven't used this before. We're going to see how this actually performs. All it's basically uh, you need to do is just actually screw it into the bench for a start. So if we have a look at the rails that we've got, uh, I've marked this one T for top. That is obviously the top rail. Now, I'm guessing it doesn't take much to bend this, to be honest. So if we sort of start there like that, I know that the, the top piece doesn't have to actually be bent that much. Now, should we go for there maybe? I've never used this before, so you're actually watching this live. Uh, let's bring it back a little bit more. It's not too bad, it's bending a little bit. So maybe we can try that there. That looks okay, I don't think, it's not gonna be much more than that, I wouldn't have thought. Let's have a look at the other side. So that's going to have to be bent the other way. I don't think I should go much more than that. I'm just going to go and offer that up into the van um, and I'll should get back to you in a second. Right, this right hand side of the top one wasn't actually far off that much to be honest. It's just on the, on the actual uh, outer edge so we're going to try that a little bit more. It's quite deceiving when you look at it. You think you're bending it quite a bit and you're actually not. You don't want to go too much because the actual inside of the rail, you could crease that if you go too mad. I'm going to go and try that again in now. You can see that's quite a profile on there now. I think that's going to fit nicely. Uh, I'll be back in a sec. Right then, good news. That is absolutely spot on. So if you want to look at that, that's what you should be aiming for on the top one, on the right hand side as you look at the aperture. And on the left hand side, you're going to be looking at that. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do the bottom one. We're going to start off with the bending again. Um, we know roughly where we need to go on the bottom one. I've got that here. Okay, so we've got B on the bottom, bottom section. It's going to sit in the, in the actual aperture this way. Um, so we, need, we know this one, if you remember from the video, it actually needs to go pretty much vertical. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Probably should have screwed this the other way, you know, but never mind. We're all learning. So I've got the actual bending piece there. We're going to try and go around this way if I've got enough room. It's going to take a bit of bending, I think. So let's set it up about there. Try.
try not to go too mad on this, as I say, the, the actual track, I don't think it will collapse, but it will, it's gone there, see, I'm glad I've caught that, I think I have just about caught that before we're going to get any issues, I think the track will actually still work, uh, even though it's pinched, I will just try it on a curtain, um, I'm glad I've got that on camera, because it just shows that the track will bend and it will cra uh, crease in, so, Give me a sec, I'm just going to try one of the curtains and see if we're still okay. These are the curtains, that actually sits inside the track. Now, fingers crossed, this still works. So you slide it into the track. Does it work? Yes it does. Right, that's in there, that's not going anywhere. Luckily, the actual curtain uh, hook system that goes inside there is thin enough to be allowed to actually move past that. So if you do get a kink, don't worry. That was a bit of a, uh, a trouser moment there for me, but never mind. There we go. You won't see this anyway. No, that's not an excuse, but you won't see this because obviously the curtains will be in there anyway. And it's only pretty much this section that will move, so that'll be hidden anyway. Okay, there's the other side of the bottom piece. Quite a good profile. I think that's going to fit nicely. I'm just going to go in and check it, uh, and I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay, so good news. The track fits absolutely perfect in the van. No tweaking needed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tidy up the back side of the actual track. When you come through with a step drill, it can leave a bit of a burr on the back. So I'm going to tidy these up now. Then I'm going to join you afterwards in the van. We'll drill some pilot holes and we'll get the track actually fixed in. So this is the bottom one, as you can see. Absolute perfection, if I do say so myself. Ignore the kink in the rail. You have to be careful with this because we don't want this out here. Uh, because that's going to be way too sort of out of place. There's a little lip in here. I don't know if you can see it It's going to be roughly on there I like to bring these forward a little bit just purely for drilling the actual holes Obviously you can imagine if this is out of the way drilling in there is going to be a hell of a lot easier than it is trying to do it now I do know of a person. I won't say the name um, Who was drilling these rails in the one day and he decided to let the drill go a little bit and he smashed his window and the window just fell out so uh, yeah we'll, we'll try not to do that on camera i like to get these two in first that just secures it and then we can put our end caps on and then we can drill the end caps and do it that way uh, i just find it easier to do it to do it like that this is a two mil pilot drill okay so all we're going to do is just dot a little couple of pilot holes in we're going to screw some screws in and then we're going to work our way through that way Right, so we've got the two pilot holes in now. I'm just gonna put the securing pins in, which are the drywall screws. I like to use these. These go with the look of my van. Uh, they bite nice and tight into the metal. You know, you're not really gonna see them, as I said, but because you can see a little bit, it blends in with the black trim and the black windows. So that's what I've gone for. You can use the, the standard screws that are in the kit. That's not a problem. Um, I'll just tend to log this. When you're going in, just be careful that you don't catch your trim on there. Uh, and just work your way along. I'm going to get the rest in and then I'll see you when I finish those. So those are the securing screws in. Um, I'm going to now do the top rail which that's going to be exactly the same as the bottom section. It's going to take a little bit more time. Um, I'll do a bit of a time lapse on that. And then we're going to look at getting the actual curtains in, doing the end caps. So basically you get one curtain in first, you put your end cap on, that sits nice and tight over this side. And then you work your way over to this side, put your curtain in, you put your end cap on finally and screw the last one in. Um, it's pretty simple to do from this stage, uh, but we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll go through it and I'll show you the top version. All right. Okay, just a little tip for you. When you're doing the top rail, this is easy with two people because obviously you've got to hold that up, you've got to pilot drill it and you've got to remember where the screw goes. Just take your time, don't go rushing it, you know, it's not a race. Just take your time, get that first one in and as soon as you've got that in, you don't need anybody else then. Um, I should be wearing goggles and I'll, I'll tell you that now because the shards of metal that come out of there, you know, they can go in your eye. I don't use goggles and I should do, so I'll take that on board. Um, I'm going to screw that in and then I'm going to carry on uh, and then obviously get the rest of the screws in. 
There we go. That's in. We're finally on to the exciting part. I've got the top track in and I've also got the bottom track in. It's onto the curtains. Oh. I cannot stress this enough though. Wash your hands, okay? Depending on what colour you've gone for, these are like a nice grey sort of colour on the inside, right? If you get your dirty fingers that you've been doing the track with and all that on this, game over. As I've showed you before, these just slide into the track. The first one or two can be a bit difficult because, you know, they do stretch. Don't get me wrong, they will stretch, but it's still tight, okay? So I'm going to just get these in. They'll either go in a piece of cake or they'll be a pain in the arse. So we'll see um, and we'll do it real time. So there you go. Oh, look at that piece of cake. The art is getting these in without them popping back out. Sometimes they can be really tight. I don't know whether it's just the fabric or what, but that's spot on. The best way to do this that I've found is get all the top ones in first and then get all the bottom ones in after. Because what you can do is, the top goes in, you put your cap on the end and that stops it from coming back out. That's the top piece in. Now it's time to thread the bottom. Boom. We're nearly there. All we've got to do now is secure three press studs to the side and that's it. The three press studs keep the actual curtain from leaking any light out from this side. So those are the press studs there. They literally just click on like that and they hold it to the side. Complete blackout blinds actually. They're, they're really good blinds once they're in. If anybody suffers from sort of light issues where they get uh, woken up by any sort of light, this is a really good curtain for you. Black on black is ideal, black on grey just as good. I just like this because it gives a little bit of contrast on the inside, that's all. I don't usually get this close to the camera, but there you go. Uh, due to the angle of this, it's quite difficult to film. Um, this is the press strut I was talking about. So what we need to do is, this needs to be secured onto there via this press stud here that has got a screw through the middle of it. Um, I've already pre-drilled the hole there, which I can just feel with my finger. You do want to just come in line with the track really, don't go pulling it up or pulling it too far down, just let it sit naturally in line with the track and, and roughly there is good. On my van I'm having a plinth round here so you probably won't see any of this anyway to be honest but um, it just stops any light sort of coming in. Um, if you do suffer with light as I said before these are really good blackout blinds so any little bit that you can cover up is a bonus. And you just screw that in, you don't need to go majorly tight on that, just enough. That's not a bad guess, that's pretty much in line with the uh, with the press stud and hopefully, there you go, it's on. So you just do that all the way up and then that, that's that side finished. So let's get those in. Done, there we go, and that's one side of the curtains in. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on to the other side. Um, I'm going to set the camera up back back to where we were, get that side in, I'll time lapse that, and uh, we'll have a fully functioning set of curtains. The two end caps are on, the rail is screwed in nice and tight, it's not going anywhere. Um, see you on the other side. So there's the, uh, there's the curtain in place. It will find its own way um, sort of home on the on the actual connecting rods and the ends. They, they do sit quite nice when they've been used a few times. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get this one in there uh, and work our way up. Uh, 
and we've got one, two, that did click, number three, and that's it, curtains are on, I'll do a little shot uh, a little bit further away and uh, show you exactly what they're like, but that's gone on really well, um, yeah, let's take a look. And there we go, the curtains are in, tracks are in, the curtains are in, the end caps are on, the press studs are in. Let's have a look at them in action then. They're pretty simple to use, they're literally on a track and that's it. Look at the quality of it, they're really good quality. They're pretty thick as well to be honest. I've got no doubt that that'll keep in some heat as well. And then this side, you just pull it across the same, you just level it up. I know the ladies out there are probably going to be going nuts over this because I can't see what I'm doing and they're not they're probably not even straight but there you go what do you call it zhuzh it up a bit there you go look at that beautiful anybody can do these they're a piece of cake to do the sliding door is a different shape so make sure that when you're bending the track don't think oh it'll fit the other side and I'll just copy it because it doesn't work like that it doesn't fit okay you've got to make sure that you do that a separate uh, separate bend on that the same with the back doors. People think that Sprinter and Crafter back doors are the same shape. They're not. On the inside, they're different because of the lock. So just be aware of that. It's a little tip for you. I'm really happy with these. I think they've come out really well. Uh, they've gone in spot on as well. So no issues. Can't recommend them enough. Van X curtains. Get on eBay. Probably the cheapest on there, to be honest. I'll see you outside the van. I'm done. See you later. Nice. Job done. The Van X curtains are inside the van. They look wicked, they'll also keep in a bit of heat in the winter time as well, so jobs are good on that. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and also click the bell icon underneath the video and that'll inform you of when I upload a new video. I'm going to be doing these on a weekly basis, so you might want to keep on top of those. If you've enjoyed it, leave a comment below and we can interact on there. Some people will say, I'd have done that differently, or I think he should have done this. That's where you need to do it, in the comments, right? Do it down there, I'll interact with you, and we can maybe, I don't know, make people see a different way of doing things, because just because I do something a certain way, it doesn't mean it's the right way, but as long as we get to the end result, and we get the same result, does it matter? I don't know. Have a look in the other videos, see what you think. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, can't wait to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching. Adam from Blackrock Outfitters. See you later.